If you get yourself a laser cutting machine like this, and it has a CO2 laser tube like this, the chances are that it's kept cool with water. As standard, your laser will come with a bucket and a submersible water pump to keep that water flowing through the system. Or in some cases, you might need to set up an industrial chiller. So let's do it. <laughs> I had to buy was some extended tube because of the size of my machine and I need to fit the inlet and outlet valves on the back of here to the inlet and outlet valves on the back of here. Now most importantly these guys need to be opposite so I've got the inlet port on the chiller. He connects to the outlet port of the machine. So that means that inlet on the machine goes into the outlet on the chiller. And the last thing to hook up is this alarm cable. This hooks up between the chiller and the machine and all it does is make the chiller scream at you. <laughs> should there be any loss in water pressure. Before we turn on the chiller, we need to fill her up. And for this, we're gonna use distilled water. The shit is expensive for what it is, but it will prolong the life of your machine. Take your top off. Take your top off. This is expensive water, so we won't be spilling that. Now the specs of this thing say it takes seven and a half liters, but I'm gonna bet we need to fill it up a bit more than that because we need to account for what's gonna go inside of the machine. Luckily though, we also have this gauge on the back and I've gone into the full section. So by the time a bit of water cycles through the machine for the first time, it should drop down more towards the normal section. Once you've got the tank filled and everything hooked up properly, you can think about connecting the power. Now, luckily with Ohmtech machines, their chillers hook up straight to the laser cutters themselves. So it means that when the laser machine powers on, the chiller powers on. So let's let her rip and see if we get some flow. Yeah. That was so fast. You can see the machine is cycling the outlet water now and we had a few bubbles come through, but those bubbles dissipate out of the chiller system real quick. This Ohmtech chiller is an intelligent unit, meaning you don't have to adjust any of the parameters for it to work with an Ohmtech laser. So right now it's not switched on. It will maintain a temperature of 25 degrees in the water, which is what it needs to safely run the machine. As your water cooling system keeps running through the machine and it keeps getting heated up, this temperature will increase and then the chiller will kick in as needed to keep it at 25 degrees. Meaning with one of these bad boys you can run your machine all day whereas with the standard bucket and pump where you have ambient temperature water eventually that water is going to heat up and it will stop your machine when it gets too high a temperature that's actually happened to me like a gajillion times if you want to learn more about setup or running of a laser machine hit the follow button